Yo, what's up everybody, Fortnitron here, and today we are back again with our Bloodborne easy mode playthrough. In the last episode, we got through Gascoigne, which is the first real boss of Bloodborne. We also went through Cathedral Ward, picked up some items, and then now we're about to hit our next main area, which is Old Yarnum. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna run from this lamp over here to this door, and it's basically gonna be like, get out of here, back away, but just keep mashing X. That's how you'll open the door. And now we're in Old Yarnum. You're gonna walk outside and immediately you'll hear a voice. That is Jura. Uh, he's kind of like the guy looking after this area and he's like, hey, back away, get away from here. Just leave this place alone, um, go away. We're not gonna do that though. Another fun thing about Bloodborne is to this day, current patch, even playing it on PS5, if you look up in the air, there is an asset in the sky that they forgot to remove. So hilarious. <laughs> Uh, normally you could run down here and there's a wandering madness that you could kill. And there's another item down there. Uh, those are bloodstone shards. We don't need any more of those. We need twin bloodstone shards, which there are very few in this area. We're going to run to this corner, pick up some more blood vials. We're going to do a lot of running in this area because there's a bunch of bullshit in this area. There's a bunch of these, uh, new little mini werewolf dudes. And we're not here to pick off enemies one by one. That's a huge waste of time and you don't need to do it. And there's not really anything in this area that we need to pick up. So I'm gonna show you the path. So we're gonna run across this bridge, immediately turn right. We're gonna run down some steps. We're gonna run straight forward. Uh, Jura, the guy on the roof is gonna be like, hey, I told you to get out of here. And he's gonna start shooting at you. So you always wanna stay moving. So we're gonna run past this bridge, turn right, run down some steps, run straight forward. There's gonna be a bunch more of those mini werewolves. And then there's gonna be a ledge that we can roll off of or jump off of. Immediately when we land on the ground, we're gonna run straight forward to a ladder. Uh, and there's also gonna be a hunter down there that's gonna try and kill you. That was a lot, so don't worry. I'm gonna be calling out uh, the directions as we go. So just remember, manage your stamina and um, do what I do. <laughs> and worst case scenario, you can always quit out or I don't know if you die, whatever. We've got 4,800 echoes. Uh, we could go spend those, but I'm not too worried about it. So let's do it. Okay, we're gonna run straight. So run, 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 run. Gain your stamina back a little bit. Run, turn right. Run, 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 run. Run straight. Roll off this edge, mash circle so you get a roll when you land on the ground, run past this guy, run over here, run here, and then quit your game out. So I got hit a few times there, which I don't usually do, but that's fine. So now that we're here and we quit out, none of the shit is following us anymore. Uh, you could go kill that hunter. He's a pain in the ass, not worth it. If you go up here, that is where Jura is, he will murder you. He's way higher level than you. Um, there is a strat to kill him, but it doesn't guaranteed work. And you can just run up there and then shoot him with the gun five times, and that'll knock him off the edge. Uh, he doesn't really drop anything that's that good that we're gonna use, so we're not even gonna do it. It's not worth it. Um, we're just gonna go over here, drop down the edge. There is an enemy here, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna go straight forward, go over here to this plank that's right here, and then hit it. That's gonna light that on fire and a bunch of the, and kill some of those enemies on the ground. We're gonna go back here, walk off the edge, walk off the edge, walk off the edge, walk off the edge, go over here. You pick up this item, it's just some free money. And we're just gonna run out of here. You could pick up this item, it's just a chalice dungeon item, which you're not gonna use. Run out here and quit out your game. Okay, now we don't have those dudes following you. If you go over here, there's a bunch of crows and then over there is uh, a blood sh uh, shard. Um, we don't need them because we need twin bloodstone 
bloodstone shards. Um, and then if we look over here, there's a werewolf on the side of that building and there's an item in that corner. Remember that. You could use Molotovs and then yeet them and hit him, but we're not gonna waste our Molotovs. If we run over here, there's some more blood vials. And if you go up this ladder, there is a mini shortcut. Where you can actually debate that hunter that's up there and possibly cause him to fall to his death. So we'll be back out here where this ladder was. So we can run up here, shoot him, get him to follow us. He might come in here. I hear him running up and down the steps. So I think we gotta hit him one more time. Look at him, he's a coward. He's trying to kite you out there so you will go out there and fight him because that's where Jura can hit you with the machine gun. Yes, he, he's programmed to do that. I don't even know if it's worth doing because like he drops a few items which are which are handy to have. Sometimes you can get him to fall. I don't know. I don't think he's doing it. He drops uh, this gunpowder stuff that makes your gun a little bit more powerful, but we're not even gonna use that item. We're gonna run straight through here and just past that fog behind that pillar, there's a werewolf. There's another werewolf over there. There's four in total. Um, so look out for that. So we're gonna run over here. Kill this guy. Kill this guy, dodge out of the way, kill this guy, gain some stamina back. Easy mode. There was a wandering madness in the corner, but again, they drop bloodstone shards, the single ones that we don't need. So don't worry about it. There's a werewolf down here. Let's get his attention. Come on. Oh, that's what he's waiting for. Waiting for help. Well, guess what, buddy? Help ain't coming. I might die. <laughs> All right, and we're totally back here where I didn't die. I mean, this is just bullshit. All right. If you go over here, there's some more pungent blood cocktails. Let's kill this guy. Remember that combo does damage. If you go down there, um, there's another bloodstone shard. Again, you don't need it. We're gonna run across this bridge. We're gonna turn left. Remember, there's a wolfie hugging that wall. And we're gonna get one of the most important items in this game. And that is the beast blood pellet. When we go back out here, he'll be a drop down. Now we can Carry his ass. Get that visceral. 
Let's talk more about the beast blood pellet, which is what we just picked up. So that's this item right here. So this item, um, once you use it, will build a beast meter, but you have to get successive attacks to build up that beast meter. And the higher you build up your beast meter, the more damage you'll do. So it's super OP, especially against bosses. So it's an amazing item to utilize versus bosses. Um, and I'm gonna show you to get the most out of it. And because you've been practicing with the R1, L1, L1 combo, that combo generates the highest amount of beast meter. So you're already in a good place. Okay, we're gonna walk over here. There is a werewolf that's gonna bust out of this door. Kill him. There's an item right here. And immediately to the left, there's a little guy. Kill him. Keep running up the steps. You're gonna see, ooh, an item. But remember, we're not stupid. And we know the Miyazaki tropes. And there's always an enemy hiding around the corner. And again, it's just bloodstone shards, which we don't need. Run up here, open this gate, and guess what? We have opened a shortcut to the very beginning of the level. So super handy. So if you die, uh, you can easily just make your way back um, to where we were. So now that we got that opened up, we're gonna run all the way down. Very top, there was more fire paper. Again, an item that we're gonna need. Okay, we're gonna go out here. Okay, to the right, there is um, one of those hooded beast enemies, and when they scream, they add a buff to the enemies around them. And there's another werewolf patrolling the area. So when we run that way, the uh, enemy is going to scream, buff the werewolf, and he's going to do major damage. But because we're smart, we know the quit out routine. So we're going to run over here. Go over here, kill this guy. Okay, and then we're gonna run. Go to the left. And then quit out our game. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> you can kill this wandering man as it drops. Guess, guess what it drops? Bloodstone shards, which we don't need. Uh, go over here, there's some more bold hunter's marks. And then run down here. And we have made our way. You could summon um, a helper here if you want. You don't need to. This is the easy mode playthrough, but we still don't even need help. Um, you can run down here and that's the next boss that we're gonna fight. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna need to just demolish this boss. So we're gonna go in our inventory and we are gonna equip a few things. So first off, we are going to equip the pungent blood cocktails. We're going to equip the beast blood pellets, and then we're going to equip the fire paper. So this is the strat. We're going to run to the back right of the arena. We're going to throw a pungent blood cocktail, which will get the boss's attention. And then we are going to use the beast blood pellet and then put on the fire paper and then just throw down some major pain. Um, every, after every few combos, uh, the pungent blood cocktail will wear off and we're just going to keep throwing in the corner and keeping, um, the boss aggroed. You know what? Because this is easy mode, let's just summon a friend. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Like again, the whole point of this guide is to show you the easiest way to beat this game. There we go, we got our good friend, Alfred. All right, so let's run in the boss room. All right, let's pop a beast blood. Let's pop some fire paper. Get the uh, pungent blood cocktail ready. Kite the boss a little bit over here. Huck this in the corner. And then R1, L1, L1. Get your stamina back, R1.
Huck that in the corner. That'll get his attention. You want to watch out because his attacks will cause poison. I think it was worse summoning a friend because literally you could just use the punch and blood cocktail and it would just kite him in the corner. keeps running away because Alfred is taking all the aggro. And we've completely lost our beast meter. This was the worst way to do this boss. It's way easier by yourself. Plus, fun fact, um, when you summon help in Souls games, um, the boss's health bar is increased by like 10%. There we go. Easy. Easy. Done. That was really sloppy, but you did it. <laughs> Shake off the cape. I remember when I first fought the Blood Starved Beast, he terrified me. But now that I know the strat, like he's just a pushover. Um, if you built up the poison meter, there's some antidote here, but you should have picked some up earlier and you can use the antidote to heal you of any poison. Um, great. Let's make our way back to the Hunter's Nightmare. The Hunter's Dream. Okay, so you've just beaten three bosses in Bloodborne. Feeling pretty good. Uh, let's use that money and let's always make sure that our weapon is repaired. Let's see if we got any better gems. No, we've got the best ones. Okay, let's. we're free to use that money to just level up. We can get rid of all those items off our quick bar. Welcome. Very well. And let's uh, get some more strength. Yeah, let's go 20 strength. All right, so we just did a lot of work. So we went completely through the second area, which is Old Yarnum. We skipped a bunch of it. But again, like I mentioned before, that area is full of low level items that you don't even need. You didn't miss out on anything. You There wasn't like some like magic miracle item that you missed out on by not going through that full area. Uh, we went through the most fast and efficient way to get to the boss. And I showed you not the most fast and efficient way to get through the boss. You'd be much better just going on your own and using the strat that I showed you how. But we did it in the end. And now we're making our way on through the game. Hope you're enjoying. Now, 